Today we're gonna get deep. And we're gonna be taking a look into the world of visualization and how these techniques can help you grab additional jump inches almost immediately. What's going on everybody? It's Coach Ty the Jump Guy and we're back again. We're gonna be taking another look behind the scenes into my jump masterclass at an area of jump training that is not often talked about or really utilized by anybody. And that is the power of the mind. How do you get your powerful brain, your intuition, your intentions, your perspective to work to your advantage. Well, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a video directly from the bowels of my Jump Masterclass on visualization. Make sure that you're subscribed below to this community. We're putting up uh, videos every single week to be able to make sure you jump your highest. And let me know down below, what areas would you like to see covered in some upcoming content? I'll make sure to shout you out. That's what we're all about here. All right, three, two, we're headed to the lab. Here we go. Visualization is an area that is I'm still exploring, to be perfectly honest with you, but I've utilized and come up with a drill that I really, really enjoy that helps to uh, provide a lot of solace to athletes in the moment when the stakes and stresses are high or you want something really badly. So some context to this would be if you or your athletes are testing their vertical jump on a Vertec or some sort of vertical tester, and they're getting kind of higher and higher closer to what they consider to be their performance ceiling. It's a great way to help people break through into that next level. So what I'm gonna do is we're going to go through that visualization right now. First, starting off with understanding that we're gonna be using, we call our mind's eye. And if you haven't heard of the mind's eye, it's essentially like a fictitious eye that exists in behind your forehead that allows us to project visual uh, images or visualizations. It's giving your brain and mind some history that will allow you to access areas of performance that you haven't been in before, okay? So what we're gonna do is when I, when I tell you, you're gonna close your eyes and you're going to see your vertical jump approach on repeat. It's gonna play like the, the play button is stuck and it's just looping over and over and over again. It's very important that during this time as well, your eyes remain closed and we breathe nice and calmly. You're gonna see that jump repeating on loop over and over and over again. And every single time you jump, you're jumping higher and higher and higher. And you're not only seeing it happen in your mind, we're gonna do our best to feel the sensations that we feel when we perform something for the first time. What are those? What do they feel like? You feel confident, you feel empowered, right? You feel excited. We have to let those root emotions seep in as we're looping that video in our head over and over and over again. When I tell you to stop, you're going to remain with your eyes closed and we're gonna take three deep belly breaths we're not gonna box breathe for this, so a belly breath is simply gonna be a four count in, and a four count out. We'll do three of those, and every time you breathe out, I want you to feel your shoulders get lighter. Not heavier, lighter. And as soon as we open our eyes, is when you would approach your jump, right away. It's like an in the moment uh, exercise. So here we go, close your eyes. See that jump on loop, on repeat. Find a nice controlled breath, and every time you jump, you're touching higher and higher and higher. You're feeling the excitement that comes along with that. You're seeing the outcome of the jump every single time. Maybe there's some friends around watching and you're seeing their excitement. It feels empowering, it feels confident. It fills you with an absolute desire to push yourself further than you've ever pushed yourself before. All right, eyes stay closed and stop. Three deep breaths. Feel your shoulders get light on the exhale. Feel them fall. And one more breath. Exhale and slowly open your eyes. 
You're gonna walk back to your starting position and you're gonna attack your jump from there. That's a visualization drill that can be done in the moment with yourself or as a coach guiding your athletes through it. Another variable that you can add to that visualization to kind of mix it up a little bit is you can introduce a very slow moving walk forward as they are going through that visualization in their head. The walk is a snail's pace, slow as you possibly can. By introducing something additional as a variable, a, a, a motor pattern, what we do is we start to deepen the root of that connection of success to output. Have some fun with the visualization drill. Look into it further if it's something that you're interested in. But for me, it's been something that has been invaluable to the success of my coaching and my athletes. The mind is an incredibly powerful instrument, so don't sleep on this video. Make sure to dive in and try some of this right away. Find some areas that work for you, some things that you can visualize to be able to get the most out of your body. I urge you to grab my Jump Masterclass. If you haven't yet, check the description below. There's a coupon code down there. Save yourself a couple bucks. But more importantly, make sure you tune back in here. Watch another video, learn more about jumping. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Peace.